Hey there, Dr. Afton Cobb here. I'm a dual board certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon, and today I'm going to be taking you through a day in the life of a Mohs surgeon. So a lot of people do not know what Mohs surgery is. It's spelled M-O-H-S. It's named after the guy Frederick Mohs who created the technique, and it's a specialized form of skin cancer surgery. Today I'm going to explain to you what the process of Mohs surgery is, and you'll get to follow along with me to actually see what happens if you have to go in for a Mohs procedure. Mohs surgery is an outpatient procedure, which means it's performed outside of the hospital in the clinic. You'll be awake and the procedure is performed under local anesthesia. Mohs surgery is the gold standard for treating skin cancers on the head and neck with cure rates up to 99%. It's also used for areas of special sites such as the genitals, hands, feet, and shins. Mohs surgery is used for larger tumors and more aggressive tumors. And if you have questions about whether your tumor qualifies, you can look at the Mohs appropriate use criteria. After the skin cancer is identified and marked, we then numb up the area with local anesthesia, which typically includes lidocaine with epinephrine. First, I start by scraping the tumor. This helps me identify how far the tumor has spread, even microscopically. The tumor is softer than the surrounding skin. When I create the circle to remove it, I also make a hash mark at the 12 o'clock region of the circle and another hash mark at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. The specimen is then brought to the lab where the histotech has to carefully lay down all of the edges so that we can look at 100% of the margins. The histotech will also mark the nicks that I made with colored ink, that way I can see it under the microscope. The tissue is then frozen and then cut with the blade to perfect slices so that we can see all of the margins. This can be a tedious technique and this is why patients have to wait in the waiting room with a bandage on and it takes about an hour to process the tissue before we can get the results and confirm whether or not we've gotten the tumor out completely. Mohs is a tissue sparing technique, which is why it's often used on cosmetically sensitive areas because we try to take only what we need to to remove the tumor while sparing healthy, normal skin. The slices of tissue are put on a slide and then go through a series of steps to stain the slide so we can see them under the microscope. Once the incision is stitched up, a bandage will be placed and the Mohs surgeon will give you instructions for how to take care of it and how to proceed for the next week. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about Mo's surgery.